Hello, Peter Stoll, clarinetist in Toronto, Canada here, and now we're going to look at microtones on the clarinet and bass clarinet. So microtones are intervals less than a semitone, uh, commonly called quarter tones by players. They are eminently doable uh, on the clarinet with one exception in the range, uh, mechanically, and they are possible on the bass clarinet, although a little less so. So what do they sound like? Yeah, that's not bad. Mo's got a whole chromatic scale going there in, in quarter tones. Uh, what I'm doing is generally fingering a note and then putting either fingers down or adding a key below it or above it to sort of alter the pitch. Or I'll just put this down a little bit so you can see that. Here's the problem. Once you got most of your fingers down the clarinet, then it gets much harder to do that. So the two places I would avoid, if you can, putting in quarter tones or eighths of a tone or whatever, would be between uh, low G and E, or D and B over the break. It's much harder to produce them there. And uh, you know, if in doubt, again, consult resources like E. Michael Richards, uh, the clarinet of the 21st century online. Now, can these be done on bass clarinet? Yes, but as you'll notice, if I get my hand out of the way, most of the tone holes on the bass are closed with full metal plates because of the size, and so it's a little less flexible. What works great on the clarinet doesn't work at all on the bass. So you've got to consult player and books. Don't assume that people can sort of rip off uh, a chromatic scale in quarter tones on, on, on either instrument, but especially not on the bass. Same limitation at the bottom of the instrument, more or less. Well, I'm trying to use some of the extended keys and yeah, they don't work that great. So with caution, um, some, some of them would work like, So you could get a trill or something there. Um, notation, how to do it. Got a few examples sourced from the web. Here is your standard way uh, of doing that. Again, I'm showing you with my cursor, it's here. This is the way that I find works the best, although I've seen variations. So quarter tone flat, reverse flat shape, quarter sharp. Uh, you just have one vertical line, not the two, like for the hashtag, three quarter flat, and then three quarter sharp, you actually have three. That's pretty clear. Um, I've seen another variety of this, uh, which is to just use little arrows. And I've got it found an example somewhere there, just here in this little box. So you can just use arrows, um, you know, down or up. Now, some composers will want players to play quarter tones and eighths of a tone. So you might use these arrows for eighths of a tone. Um, these, I haven't seen as much, these two on the right, but these I've seen occasionally. So uh, again, consult a book like Rayfeld or E. Michael Richards and a player uh, to be sure that they'll work, but they are kind of a cool, cool uh, effect and cool sound.